two Tatominets Pitmaster at Snow's Barbecue in Lexington, Texas. I keep everything very low profile. I don't, I don't let nothing go to my head. I mean, I have received many awards in the past three years. I just take them as a wonderful gift that has been given to me to inspire me to continue with my work. I enjoy the work. I enjoy meeting people. I enjoy being around people. Uh, Miss Tootsie's my pit master. She's been cooking for about 50 plus years. Uh, we just make a good connection and a uh, good combination and work good together. And it's, it's dirty, it's greasy, it's long, it's hot, it's hard hours. But if you enjoy it, you enjoy it. If you can't stand the heat, don't get in the kitchen. <laughs> so if you can't stand the heat, don't get around the pit. Crucial part of Texas barbecue is the time and love you give it. It's not a set it and forget it. This is being manned from the time it goes on till the time it goes inside. To make a great barbecue, it takes a lot of tender, loving care. And so what do you think sets you apart from other places? The customer service you're gonna get here, the hospitality you're gonna get right here. Every piece of meat here is getting personal attention. But the main thing is the meat being good. And a lot of times we'll pull some of it for our shipping. And I want it when somebody warms it up in New York next week to be as good as it was here today. I'll go through everything when we're done that went to the cooler. And if it doesn't meet my standards there, it doesn't get shipped. We season everything with salt and pepper only. It has nothing else to it. The brisket, once it goes on, it gets no mopping as we call it. The pork and the ribs and the chicken get a mop in the latter third of the cooking process and that's just a combination of water onions, mustard flour, Worcester sauce, butter, vinegar. A lot of people use a lot of butter. I mean we I mean that's the only butter we use is in that in that mop. And that's more of a combination of seasoning and moisture. It keeps the moisture, but most everything we cook keeps the high end of moisture. We take a lot of pride in what we have here. It's it's we're in the middle of nowhere with a population of a thousand. If people take the time to drive out here, we've got the time to visit with them and make their whole experience good. And that's that's very important to me. I mean, you know, my daughters do a wonderful job. The ladies inside do a great job. Uh, it's a good group. It's not one or two that makes all this possible. It's a whole group. We were recognized in 08 as number one in Texas. And at that point, things just blew up and went crazy. I mean, 95% of our, our customers are from out of, out of town or out of state or out of the country. But to see the happiness in the people that come to see us and the quality of people you meet in barbecue is second to none. It is a genuine group of people. I've been in the chamber and the fire department and different associations and different businesses. You don't meet a better quality of people that travel for barbecue. I don't know if Carrie told you I lost my son and my husband. They were right here with me. I came right back because this was family. And my barbecue family gave me great support. My school family gave me great support. My church family, my family, everyone. It has just been wonderful. And I don't plan on quitting. I want to keep going. As long as I've got a clear mind and two feet that'll carry me.